Welcome back to my channel. Here is five minutes Cantonese. 大家好，我系 Amanda， 欢迎收睇五分钟广东话。Today, let's learn more opposite adjectives. Remember, in the previous episode, which is this episode, we have learned some opposite adjectives like 高、矮、肥、瘦。Today, let's learn some more. Don't waste the time. Let's get started. Talking about fat. And thin, 肥 So let's take a look at heavy and light. So heavy, 重重 light, 轻轻 For example, your hand baggage or your suitcase is too heavy. How to say your? 你 so the quantifier of suitcase easy. 个你个 suitcase. 几几 is too heavy. So remember how to say too. Right. 太太 heavy 重你个几太重你个肩太重。How about, for example, this pair of shoes is very light. How to say? Ni. Remember the quantifier of pair, right? Do. Ni. Do. For example, sports shoes. Bo high. Bo high. Very light. Ho hang. Ni do bo high. Hang. How about wide and narrow? Wide. Foot. Foot. Narrow. Za. Za. How about this box is very wide. This box. Ni go. So for the box, the quantifier is go, and then box. Hub. Hub, very wide. Hou, foot, hou, foot. Ni go hub, hou foot. Now, for example, you want to put something in the box, but it's not wide enough to fit. So how to say not wide enough? Again, this box. Ni go hub. Remember, same lesson. Not enough. Um, go. Um, go, and then wide. Foot. Ni go hop. Um, go foot. Ni go hop. Um, go foot. How about this? The row is too narrow. Two. Two, and then row. Low. Low. Two. Tie and then narrow. Za, za. The row is too narrow. Too low. Tie za. Too low. Tie za. How about this? Tight. Gan. Gan. Or you can also say za. Za. Right. Same as narrow. How about loose? Song, song. For example, that dress is very loose. So that, go, and the corner of dress is right. Tail, go, tail, and then dress. Quan, is very tight. Ho, is very loose. Ho, song, go tail quan, ho song. On the contrary, for example, this clothes is too tight. Ni gin right for the upper wear. The quantifier is gin. Ni gin and then clothes. Some is too tight. Tai tight. Gan or za. Ni 
件衫太紧，呢件衫太紧，我呢件衫太窄，呢件衫太窄。Very good. How about old and young for old for age? 老，老 for young， 后生，后生。However， for old and new is different. So for old for things， 旧，旧。How about new？ Right， remember New Year， 新年。So for new, 新新 this book is very old. 呢 the quantifier of book is 本呢本 book 书呢本书 very old 好旧呢本书好旧 How about this magazine? 呢本 Right, so quantifier is the same. 呢本 magazine 杂志杂志 very new 好新好新呢本杂志好新 So for this book, apart from very old, it's also very thick. So how to say thick in Cantonese? 好，好。How about very thin? This magazine is very thin. Thin. 薄，薄。So this book is very thick. 呢本书好厚，呢本书好厚。But 但系，但系。This magazine is very thin. 呢本杂志好薄，呢本杂志好薄，呢本书好厚，但系呢本杂志好薄。In Cantonese, the thickness of the book and the thickness of the trees, pole, pen is different. So, for example, book 好。For the tree, we say, 粗粗 So this tree, 呢 po. So for the quantifier of tree, it's a bit particular. Po, 呢 po tree, 树 very thick, 好粗呢 po 树好粗 For example, this pen is very thin. Ni, z the quantifier of pen is z, and then pen, but very thin. 好，又 for thick and thin in this sense, we can also see the noodle. For example, when you eat wonton noodle, we have two kinds of noodle. This, we call it thick noodle. 粗面，粗面。Normally, people will take the thin one. 油面，油面 So when you order wonton noodle in Hong Kong, if you don't say 粗 they will automatically give you the 油面，油面 Very good. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. If you want to learn Cantonese with me, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you want the worksheet and the supplementary audio exercise, please visit my Patreon page. See you next time. Bye bye. Hatsikin.